What's up, y'all? We my hat crooked as hell. Okay, so we back with another traffic and check. Cause like I told y'all, y'all finna be getting these. Hmm? Y'all finna be getting these. It's happening. It's happening. So get used to it. Fall in love with me. I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. See me like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like it's do or die. She give her soul to me. She wanna be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. She say she gon' run my back. I had a long day. She say, baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way. Okay, oh, 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 I forgot my transition glasses. I got on the wrong glasses. Oh, bummer. God damn. And, hold on, listen. Because my lips is dry as hell. Um, where we going, where we going? Okay, so, I can't sit in the house for shit. It just, it ain't, it ain't effective. Like, I, <laughs> I just had a plan to sit in the house and read and write and relax the day after Thanksgiving. Today is Saturday, the weekend of Thanksgiving. Like, it, it's just not working well for me at all because it's just too much stuff to be done. Um, <clears throat> and I got to get these kids right because we doing um a youth entrepreneurship project so we have youth that are competing for funds for their entrepreneur uh or for their businesses it's been going on for a couple of months we were blessed with a grant for that and they have to present on next saturday this coming saturday and they compete they competing for the monies so we finna shark tank they asses <laughs> They about to get shark tanked. Ah. But I am not a judge. I have seven judges that are that do not play. Okay, so they better become prepared. So me and Christian are preparing them for their presentations. Not too much, but you know, we can't just be throwing the 18 and the 19 year olds out there with, with no supervision. We gotta go through it first. So I gotta do that. And I forgotten didn't forget at the same time and baby i'm gonna tell you see this is why i love kids these some good these some good children they they got that same one of them remind me of me i had that same drive when i was 21 and one of them is uh 18 just turned 18 18 year old boy who has a barbershop business and a clothing line business baby he in barber school he in high school he played football that baby say listen i am on the grind do you understand me and i know him personally from when I worked at Yes Prep, I'm not gonna say his name, but I know him personally. So I had to, I had to be care, I had to check myself because I was like, I don't want to be biased. And then it's another one that's 21, remind me of myself when I was 21. I was still kind of in them streets, but I was definitely, I had a plan. I was, I was coming up with books and all kind of shit. And they been on me. Uh, Miss Miranda, what what we doing? What what what's the rules? What's the I got my presentation when we going through? I'm like, you know what, baby, y'all show sure right. Miss Miranda is slipping. Let me get you. Let me hold me accountable. Hold me accountable. That's what I like to see. That right there. And that's and they were taught in the beginning before this competition started. It's three rounds. It's round three. The con the pitch competition is round three. They were told in the very beginning anything and everything you do counts towards this competition. Whether you answer your email on time, hmm? whether you show up to your interview on time, which was round two, everything is, you are being watched at all times. And baby, when I tell you that is one thing I am going to tell this panel, these kids is on it. They was holding me accountable. They was like, ma'am, what are you doing? Because we ready. I didn't mean to put this on, did I? I meant to put it on, I meant to switch to my black one, but oh well, it's on here now. And so I have to do that. And then I'm going to take this motherfucking phone back. I'm going to take this phone bike. <laughs> and <clears throat> the other vlog's probably going to be posted before this one because it only makes sense to do them hoes in order. I've been editing like a motherfucker. But, baby, I'm going to take this phone back. I bought this iPhone 13 yesterday. I got home. I played with it for a couple of hours. And I realized it ain't no different from my 11. It, other than the battery, it <clears throat> it ain't no different. I say, oh no, 
I'm not gonna have my phone bill go up for this. No, I rebuke it. I didn't. I shouldn't have bought the shit in the first place. That's what you get for being impulsive. I'm an impulsive buyer, and I need to stop doing that. Like now, granted, I do need a better phone. I ain't gonna lie. That battery is is, is pretty. It's yeah, it ain't holding. I gotta have that charging case. But I'ma wait. It just ain't the time, baby. Why are you driving so slow, honey? What? Is, what? Is, what the hell? What the hell? What are you? And then if I get over, I got to get over again because they ain't gonna be blocked. I know this road. I drive this road every day. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get in front of you because you're driving way too slow for my liking, and I don't like it. Ah, damn. I gotta make a couple stops. Y'all know I got to make my regular stops to the smoke shop, to the Starbucks. Do I want some ice? I don't really feel like fooling with no fucking ice right now. Oh, that's a good, oh, see, that's what I get. That's that's the devil. That's what you get for talking shit. I'm gonna have to get out. Y'all gonna have to get over soon because it's blocked. It's blocked up there. Just in case y'all didn't know, I was trying to let y'all know. Let y'all in on a little secret. But yeah, baby, this phone going right back to the Xfinity store. Do you understand me? I say, oh, hell no. I'm not finna pay an extra $40 on my bill for this. Uh-uh. It ain't even no difference. And I'm rough as hell on phones. Boy, I, when I, I kid y'all not, I switched my SIM cards out back to my old phone in two hours. I left home been sitting on the table. I, I had went, see, that's why I went to Five Below and bought me a cheap case, because I knew. I was like, let me take, I'm going to test this out. Uh, <laughs> it's so wrong with me. I, I'm going to test it out. I'm going to go in there and tell Tony straight up, hey, bro, no, I don't like it. 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 If I'm going to upgrade, at least let the phone be bigger because I'm my eyes, my, I'm old, so I need a bigger phone, but I'm not finna buy no goddamn 14 Pro Max, whatever, that expensive shit, so I'm just going to wait until they drop that 15 what I'm really going to do is wait and I'm just going to buy that whole cash so I don't have to make them goddamn payments on my phone bill. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. Like the rest of my shit paid off. So don't be looking at me like that. Hold on. Because this phone is this thing in this bag. Okay, y'all. Hold on real quick. Hold on. I got to secure the wig now. Wait a minute. We can't have a wig unsecured. I ain't tightening that strap. See? This why y'all don't wear... Y'all don't wear them bonnets. Get you a hat wig, baby. That's what you gotta do. You understand me? You ain't got to look all the way decent because this one cheap as hell. You can see. Look at that. That's some Barbie hair. It actually ain't that. It's kind of soft, honestly. But, baby, you ain't got to spend a whole bunch of money. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do that. It's just a little $12. That's it. And I've been having that black one I've been having for at least two years. Like, legitimately, like, like two years, bro. <laughs> and it didn't last that fucking long. I don't want that goddamn wig out. Hell, I probably done had it longer than that, believe it or not. Can I bank up? Can I bake up? Can I? Can I bake up? Can I? All right, Starbucks and then to this goddamn Xfinity store so I can take this high ass iPhone back. I ain't doing it. And I done lowered my bill. Because when I upgraded, I call it the upgrade downgrade to the new Android I'm about to get cost less than this phone so therefore i feel like i've said that a million times in other videos but that's fine i don't i don't really give a fuck um my bill is gonna go down so i had did the math right because y'all know i'm an accountant in real life i did the math and with this new android phone if i was to keep all of my phones same iphone my bill would go down like 10 15 dollars with the new iphone my shit go up like 30 40 dollars I say, oh no, the devil is a lie. That motherfucker going right back to the store. No Lord. No Lord. No Lord. No Lord. No Lord. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not spending that type of money. Come on, baby. Come on. I knew you was coming. Come on it. Come on it. I knew y'all was coming. You look like y'all was coming. Oh, um, you was coming too? Oh, I'm sorry. Damn, they made the shit out that motherfucking turn. Oh, swing with it. Swing with it. And Starbucks got my sandwich. That's why I'm like, baby, I can spend that money on Starbucks. I'm not finna be, uh... No, 
bitch. What you can spend it on is your motherfucking debt. That's what you can spend it on. Pay off these goddamn credit cards, which your ass need to do. Pay what you need to do. Oh, that's that wagon. I'm like, what the hell is in my back seat? Baby, you couldn't put on no blinker? You wouldn't, so you just was gonna... You know what? I just... Here we go with this goddamn Starbucks again. I swear. I hate the location by my house, so yes, I do drive all the way up here. Oh, they empty today. Oh, they empty today. Oh, shit. Say less then. Okay. That made my shit ready. It better be as long ago as I ordered the shit. Okay. Be right back. All right. I about damn forgot I was. I about damn forgot I was, uh. Fuck I was doing. Where I'm going? Oh, Xfinity stuff. Um. They get my time, my sandwich time to cool down. Uh. Y'all, I can't wait till I get this new phone in. I'm so excited. I can't really see the camera quality, though, like I want to. That's the only thing. What the hell? Girl, I can't see the camera quality. I did look at the reviews and stuff, but I can't actually, like, test it out. So, I'm going to hope it's good. I mean, it's Android Hill. It can't, it can't be bad. And it got to be better than the A51. And the Z Flip just is about as much as the damn S21. So, shit, at this point... I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. That motherfucker gonna save my life when it come to not having no tripod, though. Jesus. I did it in the store yesterday for two seconds. He took it off the thing for me, and I was like, yes, Lord. Okay. All right, because... Now, look, I'm trying to be good today. I, what I'm trying to do... What I'm trying to do is act like I got some goddamn sense today. But what you gonna... Y'all gonna get this shit together. Come on, I'm ready to turn. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to show people I am not mean all the goddamn time. Hmm? I'm trying to show people I got some sense half the goddamn time. But it's y'all fault. Y'all be out here making me look like this. Shit. Calm down. I'm turning. Got me out here cutting up. What I tell you? Mm-mm, that car coming fast as hell. I'm sure it's gonna turn as hell. Oh, Lord, don't let them be crowded, Jesus. Oh, hell. Bobby, get your kids. I don't know why I call that man Bobby. And that don't look like that's his name at all. No, these kids ain't got on. Whoa, Lord, why people so soulful. <laughs> Let me take these kids off this goddamn thing. All right, y'all, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what's going on here. Baby, this is going to be a, a ride with me, mukbang, chat, uh, everything. Because I'm hungry. And y'all know how I do. When I'm hungry, y'all going to watch me eat. Hmm? Y'all gonna watch me eat. Yep. Well, Starbucks gonna take all my goddamn money. Shit! These, um... Y'all ain't trying to these damn bacon, egg... What's on here? Bacon, egg, potato, cheese. And I wanna say some sausage in here. No, I think it's just bacon, egg, and cheese. No, it's definitely some potatoes in there too. Baby, this burrito so good. Oh, this wrap so good. Y'all motherfuckers sell them dollars, but it's good as hell though. And it's big too. Like it's actually a big ass burrito. So it hold me for a little bit. It hold me for a little bit. What are y'all doing? Come on now. Oh my fucking god. Get it, get it the fuck together. Come on now. Snap, snap with it. Snap, snap. Oh my God, people drive so slow. Um, so I took the phone back. I gotta clean my car. I really do. I definitely gotta clean my car. It's happening. It's happening soon. I feel like I don't have time for that. I was gonna say I feel like I should like do work, work like my regular job this weekend. Because next week just seems like it's gonna be a lot. I already took PTO and I do not want to get behind on nothing. Like I wanna be prepared. Uh you do realize you're in my lane, right? You do bitch, you better not be texting, I swear to God. 
the fucking I'm sorry I be trying to act like I got some sense stop texting y'all in the other folks lane cause you're texting that's the problem y'all gotta know the rules if you gonna text and drive then for one you do it when there ain't no other cars around but two you do it out of light <laughs> the two rules, goddamn it, and the car the rules. Never text when it's a car. A lot of cars run. You ain't supposed to take a drive anyway, first of all, bitch. But you damn sure don't do that shit when you are in a lot of cars. Me, I gotta be at a stoplight. Or oh, it can't be nobody around. Let's just a quick look. And it can't be nobody to my to my sides. My sides, my front, all that. Just in case I do swerve, I ain't swerving in nobody's motherfucking lane. But other than that, you're gonna wait till I get to the stoplight. And I voice message. Cause I really don't like texting the driver. I don't do that shit. I do it a couple times, but people make that shit a badass habit. And that shit is dangerous as hell. I've been in too many accidents. And I know, and I live in here, I know what happened when you don't pay attention to the motherfucking road out here. And don't let it be raining. Mm-mm. Well. I took that back, y'all. I got my, what, $100? $100 back. So that uh because you know you gotta pay the sales tax in the first payment so i got that uh good old hundred back the the hundred i ain't need to spend that first because you know damn well your ass wasn't supposed to spend that motherfucking money and you wouldn't spend that shit anyway crazy ass what's wrong with you i'm a i gotta stop being so impulsive with my with my uh with my spending um and I'm about to take these phone cases and screen protectors right back to uh, Five Below. That's happening too. Uh, excuse me. I have bought two screen protectors. One of them I ended up putting on the phone, so I, I gave back to them. But, excuse me, that other one is going back to Five Below. And I'm just going to trade out that phone case with one that actually fits the phone I got. And be done. If I like one. If not, it ain't happening. Because since my iPhone is so old... They barely make cases for them. And then Android, boy, it's so hard to find a damn case for an Android phone. It don't make no sense. Like, I just don't understand why y'all got to do us like that. That's all right, because that's why everybody shop on Amazon. That's fucked up. So, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't know about the ones y'all buy, but out here, Bible Love don't sell Android cases no more. Like, at all. They used to have at least a little rack to choose from. Especially with the S21 Pluses and the 22 Ultras and all that. Like, Androids is just as fucking expensive and popular as iPhones. How the hell y'all just stop selling Android? Can you just scoot up just a little bit? Hmm, damn. Damn. Or it's just as popular. How you just not sell a whole fucking bitch? You better not. You better the fuck not. How you just stop selling a whole goddamn line of brand of phones, phone cases? Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? What about us people who got both? Mm. And Amazon be cool, but I'm impatient. I'm impatient as hell. <laughs> I'm so impatient. I hate talking with my mouth open. I'm sorry, y'all. But it's... I'm impatient. I'm surprised that I'm actually this calm about waiting until Wednesday to get this phone. Like, I think it's because it ain't shit I can do about it, so it's like, girl, calm down. And I can have it Tuesday, but Tony ain't gonna be there, so I'll wait till he get there on Wednesday. I went in there. I feel so bad. I said, Tony, I'm so sorry. Tony works so hard. I'm gonna have to get Tony something. We're going to have to get Tony something. We're going to get him a thank you gift, gift card or something. Because, baby, I drive him so goddamn crazy. He spent all that work switching that goddamn phone over yesterday. And just for me to bring my ass in there and return that motherfucker. 
<laughs> and he had to go through the whole process of returning it. And he weighed the fee, the stocking fee. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get Tony some. And I know it's like he's just doing his job, but some people just be going above and beyond. Cause I done seen the other people, excuse me, the other people that work in that, in that store, it's about three of them. The ones y'all saw on my last vlog, them the three that I can I can fool with. They veterans, they been there. But them other young folk and them rude ass fucking people in there that don't give a damn, uh-uh. Uh-uh. People go above and beyond for me. One thing I do, and y'all can ask my patrons this, because baby, they got gift packages on the way. I have got to show some type of gratitude. Like, that's what keep people going on their job. Like, that's what keep people going on their job. Even if it's a little thank you card, a little $5 gift card, you don't, you don't know. You know, it's just a little small token of appreciation. That's the problem. You got to show appreciation to people. That's all customer service is. That's why every time, like, if I go to Luna at the smoke shop, I'm going to tip big. If I go get my nails done, show it no. You finna get all my money. It's about the service. If you receive exceptional service, oh, baby, you can have my money. Take it. Because I'm showing my love, and I'm the type of person where I have to go to the same person for every fucking thing, literally even my phones, obviously, because I only fool with Tony, because it's like that person already know me. So you already know me, you already comfortable with me, you comfortable with, with everything, like whether it's my account on my phone, my nails, my hair, all that. You already know what's up. I had to stop, she opened this goddamn door. See, I ain't got full shit. Sorry. Y'all gonna have to wait. I ain't trying to eat this, baby. That baby was getting out the car. I wasn't gonna do that. Well, I'm close as hell to this goddamn truck. Let me hurry up and go and get up and fly below and change the shit. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Come here, man. Come here, man. I ain't even got the urge to buy nothing. Yeah. Because yeah. your pocket's saying no, bitch. That's what I All right. Bike. I got my $6 bike. I returned that damn screen protector. And exchanged out that clear case from that 13 for one for my 11 because now mind y'all i got like a million cases at home like no bullshit i'm gonna show y'all the bucket how many fucking cases i got at home i got a case addiction okay first of all i got three million goddamn phones let's get that straight but i had realized in all the cases i got i don't have just a plain clear case if i do i think it got a pop socket on it if i do i don't know because i got so many cases and I bought that case for that 13 yesterday. Let's look at that. Bitch, that's clear enough. And I was like, I like this case. Siri, ain't nobody talking to you. So what I'm gonna do, other than the fact that the iPhone 13 got the flat edges and shit, bam, feel like the same phone. Boy, y'all y'all playing with me. That feel like the same, that same iPhone 13 I bought yesterday. Child, please, ain't nobody got time to be playing with these people. Fuck that shit, hell no. Hell no, fuck no. That is the same goddamn motherfucking phone. Uh-uh. We ain't playing them games. Start the car, bitch. That's what you gonna do. My eyes milk me up. Oh, I don't wanna do nothing else today. Mm-mm. When I get home, I don't want to go nowhere else. Bitch, do I need some gas? Uh-uh, see, that mean you need to be at home. That mean you need to be at home. You don't need no gas. I mean, you need some gas. My mama talking about game night because my uncle here from Alabama. I just feel like she going to make me go. We got to go to brunch and shit tomorrow. I ain't doing game night and brunch now. That's too much. I need to rest, hell. It's only so much of y'all I can take. Um... What was I finna say? Damn, I forgot my motherfucking train of thought. Bitch, you just got to do better in life. I am sick of you. Sick of it is what I am. Sick of it. I'm gonna have to get on Patreon and tell that story as to why I... Mm, I don't... Mm, never mind. Patreon. Uh, 
that's just i'm sorry y'all it's like that's the point of me having a patreon it's like some shit you just can't say on youtube and it's so fun over there and they get videos every day oh my god it's like we're talking every day like it's just and it's different videos than what y'all get like i love it join me on patreon um but don't join my patreon if you all like save sanctified and holy ghost spirit and all that that defeats the purpose don't don't do that don't do you gonna make yourself mad don't do that um yeah don't do that don't do that yeah i wouldn't want my mama on my patreon she wouldn't do it anyway but that's not the point if you if you yeah don't don't <laughs> if you want them judgmental ass people and like don't like a lot of cussing and fussing and hushing and so yeah don't don't do that don't even set yourself up for failure like that but if you like to get into some gangster juicy drama phenomenal funny shit patreon is where it's at patreon is for sure where it's at okay my impulsive days and buying days is over it's a bad, like, people think retail therapy ain't a thing. I'm telling y'all that it's, like, literally a thing. I do that shit every time. If I have an emotional moment, I will go buy a fucking something. Last time, I bought a laptop. I think I bought a laptop three times from being emotional. Motherfucking computers and shit, phones and shit. I just go buy big-ass purchases every time I get emotional and I do emotional shopping. Like, I don't know why... It's just a thing. I don't know. It's like, then I end up taking shit back, depending on what it is, because sometimes I do need it. But, yeah, I'm the type of motherfucker where I go in Target, or I go in the store, and buy a whole bunch of shit, just because I feel like it, and I don't, I, I'm just having a moment, and I want to do it, and then I get home and go through it, and take half the shit I bought back. That's me. I'm that person. I'm that person. I do. I do that shit. I get home and be like, girl, you ain't need this pal you ain't need this either pal and i'll take that shit right on back the next day because i knew when i bought it i ain't need it but i had to buy it sir why would you just had your ass in the middle of the street like that get your ass out the way shit but yeah i'm trying to do better with my impulsivity i've always had that issue that's always been an issue for me is being impulsive i am a very impulsive person not even just shopping i'm impulsive in general how y'all think the Trump movement shit started? In impulse. <laughs> I just be doing shit. Gonna map shit out or nothing. Like, I'll map it out after I started, but I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna start this business. I am very impulsive and I'm impatient as hell. So those are two things I am definitely trying to work on. I'm getting better, though. I'm getting way better than I used to be because Charlie used to be bad. Big bad. Real bad. Oh, I was like, what the hell? Hold on, y'all know I gotta get my life together before I get out the car. Okay, one phone, two phone, three phone, <laughs> four phone. It's <laughs> the one that y'all looking at me on. This don't make no sense. Why? Jesus, why? You don't need all this. Hell, they need you go went go buy a phone. Chill. Nah, this is my personal phone they live in it i just kept or uh, whatever this is the ttm one of the ttm phones iphone 8 here and then this is the iphone SE. this is another ttm phone and also my regular job phone so don't ask me no question okay these phones are necessary they're necessary oh, take that to the garbage well, i guess oh shit i can't i gotta okay y'all hold on i'm gonna have to go ahead and hang up on y'all because I got to get all this shit in the house. But I will see y'all in the next video. Don't know what the next video going to be. Vlogmas. <laughs> it's Vlogmas. Like, you, you, you're going to get anything. You're going to take it. You're going to accept it. All right? So until then, bye.